Hey guys, I am back and it's been a week since iOS 15 beta 1 was announced. So that means we are inching closer to the second developer version. So here is everything you need to know about iOS 15 beta 2 and the public beta. But before that, I'm going to give you a quick follow up on beta 1 as well. So let's dive right in. So let's talk about beta 1 first. Now I have been using this for a week now and it's been pretty good. The battery life especially has been good, but the performance has been super laggy and glitchy all around. Now that is understandable. This is a developer beta version and the first one, but it's just been not good for me. Now Safari also has been kind of a mixed experience for me because I like the new design, but I still haven't gotten used to the application itself. I mean, the search by the bottom just doesn't do it for me. I mean, the muscle memory always makes me go for the top for the search bar and now it's at the bottom. So hopefully, in the future, we'll get used to this thing, but it's pretty amazing. The redesign is really nice and very minimal. Now, one thing I'm absolutely loving is the new live text feature. You can have it open in any application, basically giving you split screen and multitasking. So all in all, it has been a good experience. Now, notification summary is also a thing that has grown on me. At first, I was not a big fan, but I like how it keeps the lock screen clean at all times. So that is a good thing. Now, we got a few new widgets in iOS 15 beta 1 in calendar, clock, find my, but that's pretty much it. I mean, I hope they update other ones as well to make them look as nice as these. So hopefully that is coming. But I'm kind of disappointed that we did not get interactive widgets with iOS 15 because Apple was planning on bringing that with this update, but they pushed it back to future iOSs. So there's not much we can do there. But these two, they look nice. Now, I don't know if this is a glitch or a feature, but basically you can have as many copies of applications as you want and clone them on the home screen. So again, this could be a feature but you can have as many of these as you want and all of them work which is kind of strange but simply go into the app library and drag on any application you want to create a clone for drag it to the home screen and now you have another copy and you can do this as many times as you want so kind of a fun feature to have in iOS 15. Now focus is also something I have been liking a lot in iOS 15 so basically you can have your own preferences or notifications basically you can select which applications deliver them and which don't. You can also hide pages on the home screen and only have one page at all times so that is also a nice feature to have but now let's talk about all the glitches and bugs that I have faced and other people have been facing in iOS 15 beta 1. Now FaceTime and SharePlay are the ones creating the most trouble actually because for FaceTime it doesn't work for many people and SharePlay again is a hit and miss as of now because not many people have iOS 15 to use SharePlay. So again FaceTime has been kind of glitchy for many people but it is only a developer version and it's only gonna get better from here on. Now let's talk about the second beta and the public beta for iOS 15 and what to expect. Now the public beta is going to be similar to beta 2 and beta 1 so all the features will be in the public beta but the second beta is the one we are focusing right now because this is something we don't know much about but obviously it's going to focus more on stability and improvements and bug fixes but we might get some new icons because there were teasers of icons for settings and maps so basically last year we got two new icons for clock and calendar which were not announced at the event so maybe a few new icons and widgets in the second beta but the major focus is obviously going to be improvements and bug fixes of the second beta and all in all it's going to be a big update over the first beta with a lot of improvements now let's talk about the release date for the second beta of iOS 15 and this is kind of a simple one because Apple has a two-week cycle for all the releases for the developer version. So we got the first one on the 7th of June and if you count two weeks from then we have the 21st of June. Now it can be the 22nd because Apple usually puts out all the updates on a Tuesday and not on a Monday but all of this has been based on previous years and this chart right here and you can see it has always been two weeks between developer versions for the first few of them. Now as for the public beta it's going to come either on the 5th or the 6th of July because for one it is two weeks from 21st and it's coming in July as Apple said it and it's gonna come with the third beta for iOS 15. So it's gonna be either on the 5th or the 6th of July. So all of this is pretty exciting stuff in my opinion, especially the second beta because it's gonna be a big update over the first one. So yeah, that is pretty much it. Now if you enjoyed the video, give it a big thumbs up and as always, stay tuned for more because I will be covering all of this in depth when it arrives. So as always, please like, comment and subscribe. Peace.